Shalom. Uh, wherever you are in the world right now, if you're watching this video, I'm coming from the United States at the moment. It's <clears throat> going on one o'clock in the morning on August the 19th. And I was laying in bed uh, and I just felt I needed to get up and make this video. <clears throat> This is a, a real time for prayer across not only this nation, but Israel and the rest of the world. And for you who are watching this, wherever you are and whenever this is that you see it, please stop and pray. Pray for the nation of Israel. Pray for the United States. We are in a time now, and we've some of us have felt this coming for a while. <clears throat> but I'm praying that Hashem gives us a little more time to right this path that we are on. Because right now it's going in the really wrong direction. Uh, I'm praying for certain members of leadership in Israel and in the United States, but not for all of them. I do believe that the time for some of them is over and judgment on them is due. And I, I, I feel bad about that. Uh, well, at the same time, I don't. Uh, I don't want to sound callous, but <clears throat> their time has come. Their time of repentance is over, and they failed. They were weighed in the scales and found wanting. Therefore, I'm asking all of you, wherever you are now, to pray, to intercede on behalf of the United States and the State of Israel. For those leaders that are serving Hashem, that are doing his will, being a light, trying to right the path. I really want to prevent judgment, and it is coming, but I've asked Hashem, as he did in the wilderness when our people left Egypt. I mean, there were almost two million if you count all the women and children as well as the 600,000 men of fighting age. Not all of them failed the test on that day when Moshe went up into the mountain to receive the Torah. And those left down at the foot of the mountain, several of them, many of them, pressured Aaron and his sons to make the golden calf and then make the proclamation that here is the God, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And <clears throat> many of them worshiped that idol, forced others to do so at the point of the sword. We're in a similar situation now. No, we're not out in the desert. We're not building golden calves out of gold and silver. But we are building idols. Idols of our own making. I'm praying for those leaders and for us people to live our lives according to the will of God. For those leaders who are pressuring the people to do otherwise, I am praying God's judgment fall on them and not the nations. Just as the judgment fell on the 3,000 that fell that day in the wilderness by the sword of the Levites, the faithful, I'm calling on Hashem, and I'm asking you to do the same, to let the sword of His judgment fall on those leaders, those people who 
are causing others to go astray, to leave the righteous path. I'm asking Hashem to bring judgment on them, not on the nation, not on the United States, not on the, the state of Israel. I'm asking Hashem to give us more time because there are many righteous still living in the United States, many righteous still living in Israel. There are a handful by comparison that are not and that have the loudest voice making the most noise. In this particular nation, sadly, it is our current president and his vice president. Certain members of the Senate, some of them fellow Jews, sadly, just as there were fellow Jews who caused many in Israel to go astray that night in the wilderness. We have fellow Jews in our Senate and in our House who are doing the same in the United States and doing the same in the Knesset in Israel. But I'm asking and asking you to ask Hashem not to bring judgment on the whole nation, just as he did not bring judgment on the whole nation of Israel in the wilderness. I'm asking that Hashem not bring judgment on the whole nation of the United States or the state of Israel because of those who insistently and persistently continue in their unrighteous rebellion against him. So if you don't mind, if you could pray with me. Hashem, in your precious name, Adonai Sefot, El Shaddai, please give us more time. Judgment is to come. It has to come because you are loving, but you are righteous and you are just. And therefore, judgment must come. But let it fall on those who have brought this upon themselves. And do not allow the entire nation to suffer because of them. Just as Abraham pleaded for the people of Saddam and Gomorrah to not destroy those villages and those towns for the sake of the righteous. I'm asking that you do the same today for the United States and for Israel. Do not bring judgment on the entire nation for the sake of the righteous. Do not bring judgment on the entire state of Israel for the sake of the righteous, because there are plenty of righteous. There are those who are faithful, serving you day and night. I pray this in your name, in your precious name, in your powerful name, El Shaddai, Yod-Heh, Vav-Heh, Baruch Hashem.